Moi kaikille. Tervetuloa takaisin kontrolliin. We ended the last episode in the janitor's office, which is a little bit south of us, past this whole ventilation room. The uh, reason we're there is because the control point is back here, and that's where we spawn. And uh, before I started recording, I ran into this room and then a bunch of enemies spawned, so... Went back to the main menu, reloaded from here, and we're gonna fight them... together. Uh, I also used this control point and realized we have some ability points. And... something... here? What, what do we have here? Oh, we can get spin now? And... what's this? Oh, it's upgrading the grip. Right, so we can get not only new ones, but... Upgrades. We don't have the stuff we need for either, though. I wonder how much better this is. It allows you to have a second mod slot and increases base weapon damage. Ooh, I just realized there's a bunch of other ability slots here that aren't filled in, so maybe we will have more interesting things than just plus 10 and plus 20% health and whatnot. 50% to launch damage. That is so good. I just want to get that, but... But... We definitely should have health and energy. Let's get some more health. And that's all my points. All right. Spawn. Who shot that at me? Combat in this game is really fun. Oh, Ahti just gave us level 2 security access. Right at the end of the last episode, right? I should keep that in mind. Places we may be able to go that we couldn't before. Room that had the dash, the weird light. What's in here? Must have went in here before. Ah, T, how's it going? What a mess. Burn the trash. Yep. Burn the trash. Throw it into fire. Oh, literally. Burn it all. <laughs> okay. Burn it into a reindeer. Not into a moose. What are you talking about? Uh, looks like it's a ways away from where we are right now. So I'll just keep, keep going. Dodge efficiency. Evade energy cost minus 11%. Interesting. I still think the 26% health element per pickup is really good. That's really important. Again, if that thing blows up, power explosion too much. Director's duty keep the lights on.
North Moore was director before me. I never wanted his job. I never wanted power. I purposefully avoided it. Didn't trust it. Didn't want to rely on it. North Moore was all about power. A man like an explosion, hungry for authority, for order, for more. Until it was too much. I had to find a solution in the end. Contain the situation. Northmore never liked me, but he went along with it, to his credit. He didn't really have a choice. I suppose at the end of the day, a director's most basic duty is to keep the lights on. Here's to you, Northmore. There were no prime candidates waiting in the wings, but I was there. Had been the whole time, keeping my head down, working my ass off. I had nothing to lose. I picked up the gun almost on a dare. I swear I saw some finish in one of the menus. I think it was in the hotline. Oscar Palautin. Oscar Palautin. Moore was director before me. Hold on. I never wanted. Yeah, Oscar Palautin means backspace. I don't know why Finnish showed up there, but like nowhere else. I was wondering if it maybe detected the language that my computer was set to because I switch between Finnish and English when I'm doing Finnish homework and stuff like that. But I just checked and it's set to English right now. That's really strange. Irish. Escaped object of power. Attention maintenance staff. An object of power escaped the Panopticon a couple weeks ago and they want everyone to keep an eye out for it. So if anyone sees a merry-go-round horse zipping around the sector, alert me immediately. Do not try to contain it on your own and definitely do not bind it to yourself. Your security chief, Simon Irish. Those lights are so intense. I want to see if I could suck the lights off the wall. Love that text. Who are you? Who are they? They don't seem like his people. Chief Arishi. He's just inside. He'll help you. Ma'am! Hey! Chief Arish, FBC Security. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? They all have HRAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah. Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just... Oh, hang on, you're the new director. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. Faden, ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, it's a bit of a shit show down here. We've been holding our ground, but whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. 
Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. He smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Listen, I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling him? Oh, that's catchy. Oh, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Try to stay alive. Blockages in pipe C. Hey, there, when it said press tab to open, it also oh, said man. Sarkine, which I'm assuming means tab. Oh man, Adi is gonna be so pissed. Well, it's interesting to see random bits of finish, so I'll take it. Good practice. Arish Security Matters. Hey Simon, I got your message. Yeah, if someone in the sector is asking about Ahdi, just tell him you'll handle it and leave it at that. Under no circumstances should any personnel intervene with his day-to-day -day routine. I told you everything I know about him, so you could better deal with his odd habits. But yes, it's still very much a classified matter. Also, I saw your report about the quarry worker who wandered into the Foundation. Detaining him was the right move. We'll figure out what he saw before we decide on next steps. Cheers, Lynn. P.S. In case you hadn't noticed, something is up between Trench and Darling. I know this isn't your strong suit, but try your best to stay out of it. We need those pumps and converters online? She knows. She knows. I just wanted to make sure. Is like rolling in Dark Souls, isn't it? Hell yeah. Though weirdly enough, it doesn't seem to break everything. Or it breaks it like after you've gone through rather than when you go through. efficiency. Minus 10% energy. I'm itching for some real action. Okay, calm down. Okay, lots to do. I need to get this thing working. But I also want to burn the trash around the furnace, but that's nowhere near us, so forget that for now, I guess. Maybe I should switch active quests. Eh, I'll just keep exploring and we'll find the stuff as we go, I'm sure.
can't quite reach him from here. I could probably shoot him from here, but we'll get a little bit closer. Do some launches at him. Which way do I want to go first? This leads towards a place to go, assuming the door is open. It's green, so yeah, actually, the coolant pumps. So let's not go there. Let's not go there. This looks explosive. Jesus, that's big. Too big, I can't see properly. <laughs> oh! You have the ability to dodge these as well? Yes, you do. Just like Tomasi. Satisfying up close. And that is so eerie, seeing that person's shadow from... I think it's them. Yeah. Seeing their shadow against that harsh red light and they're just floating in air. Yeah. detail there is in the environment. There's so much stuff and all of it moves. It's interactive and can be picked up and broken. There's two ways to go. Central maintenance or energy converters. Which one which one am I supposed to go to first? Oops. Oh, the coolant pumps and the energy converters. So central maintenance is not on that list, which means I think I want to go there first. Sarkane. Sarkane. Health boost. Is this the one I just got? Plus 23%? That's really good. That's really good. I'm actually going to go with that. <laughs> yeah, I went through this, but I didn't break it the first time. Weird. I wonder if that's on purpose. 
I wonder if it's supposed to be a move fast or a teleport kind of thing. It looks like we're just moving fast. So I don't think it's supposed to be a teleport. Curse noises. Thresholds. Examination of paranatural topics. Thresholds. The oldest house is a place in flux. Thresholds appear with no warning. What the threshold will contain is a question we can only answer once it manifests. The widely accepted theory is that thresholds are dimensions vibrating on a something frequency different from our own. When these frequencies match, the threshold will manifest in the oldest house, which acts as a... Others theorize thresholds are parallel universes or possibly our own reality at a different point in time. Some believe our collection of altered materials affects the house or attracts the thresholds. We do know for certain that thresholds are not permanent. Eventually their frequency will shift. Some believe Earth itself is just another threshold connected to the oldest house, which is actually rooted in some other reality. This theory, while impossible to disprove, causes something in those who learn of it, so is actively denied. I take it that's a threshold. Should I try to touch it? I shouldn't try to touch it. That would be silly. We saw that painting in the hotel room. Investigate the training course. Uh, yeah, we also picked up a thing that I want to read. Home safe tests. Munitions testing on object of power 22, a.k.a. home safe. The safe object of power can produce a barrier using objects or material from its immediate vicinity. Bureau Rangers were given permission to employ heavy weaponry against a para-utilitarian bound to this object in order to gauge the barrier's durability. Uh, 
Such a broken thing. Tested some ammunition types. The safe object of power is clearly a viable candidate for use in combat response scenarios. Allowing para-utilitarians to participate in altered engagements would be an advantage worth considering. didn't pass. Security level four. Tennyson report warning. Listen, Trench is on the warpath about this Tennyson report thing. He wants to know who wrote it and he wants to know yesterday. Whoever did is going to get crucified. I don't know if it was one of you guys, and I don't want to know. I'm not super keen on leading a witch hunt, so tell everyone in the sector to keep their heads down. Best not to be on anyone's radar right now, you know? I tell ya, not even counting all the weird shit we deal with, this place can be a downright hostile work environment sometimes. Atlas Chamber. That sounds very interesting. Ooh, can I uh, do dodges through windows? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> that tore a big hole in it. Is this place? I don't think it's somewhere I can go right now. Whoa. What is that? It's like the bridge that needs to be here, but it's over there. And oh wait, there's a bunch of them. I have my dodge ability. I could use it to dodge through the air, but it would not get me there. No way. I know you can chain it in the air, but I think you still lose height. Let me test it actually. Not a very good test, but I really don't think I'd make it. I don't- I just don't think I can do this. I think I need an ability that I don't have or, or something. Just wondering why this chamber is so special. Why is it built like this? Okay, I'm supposed to investigate the training course, which means I would need to somehow get over here. I could try dodging through it? Pretty sure it's gonna kill me. Oh, 
Okay, that was stopped by it. I don't know if it's gonna kill me. It might just prevent me from going in there. Let's try. Just prevent prevents me and also screams in my ears horribly. Guess I just can't do this yet. Unless there's some secret to getting in there in this cursed bathroom. Doesn't look like it according to the map. Okay, let's go somewhere we're supposed to. Energy converters. That means, sounds good. Poor aim on my part. You know what I need to do is try using my dodge in battle. I've just been completely forgetting about it. measures. Oh, I uh, finished this one. Health boost, quitos. That means thanks. Oops. Yeah. Is it generating random ones or, or what? I don't know. Kill enemies without dying. What does that mean? Like, that's what I always have to do, but does that mean it, you have to, like, kill 50 enemies without dying if you die or resets the number? Kill enemies with the service weapon in charge mode, right? Spin mode, don't have that. Kill hiss guards, I can do that. Might as well take some more as well. Kill enemies without dying, sure. This stuff again. I think Ahti was saying something about it, but I don't know what. I was a little preoccupied. What are these things? It's like some sort of electronic engine thing. There's a bunch of coiled copper wire. Yeah, I'm still missing something to deal with this. These things look kind of special. Maybe I'll just throw one of these in here. Damn. 
powerful shotgun, oh my god. <laughs> um, let's check the quest. Where does it want me to go? Wait, this isn't even on the map. It wants me to go up through here. Is there something I can do in here real quickly? Like, something I could just run through and do. I don't see anywhere to go. And again, it's not on the map, so... Hell if I know. Nope, this is just like bonus stuff. Totally bonus stuff that I can't do right now. Oh, right! You lose points when you die, so I really don't want to die. Not just because of progress, but... Points, which are, I guess are also progress. You can use Weich, though. To sprint. I guess Weich, though, means shift. Why is it giving me random finish? Maybe it knows I'm trying to learn finish and it's trying to help me. Highly reactive game. Hmm. Can't go in through there, so then I do have to go through this place somewhere over there, according to the map. That wasn't on purpose, but we do actually have enemies, apparently. Oh, those are new. What the hell are those? They explode after death. Jesus. Oh, uh, well, we're gonna have a new entry for them, I think. Hiss Charged. The Hiss Charged agents are examples of extreme physical deformation resulting from Hiss Corruption. Hiss charge, uh, Charged display an unthinking fixation on any non-corrupted individuals in the area. Once within a specific proximity, they erupt into a burst of focused hiss resonance so dense that it acts as a physical force. The hiss charged is depleted of the hiss corruption after this eruption. The host is left lifeless. This behavior may be an adaptive response to the HRAs. The hiss charged are designed to blow the devices off potential hosts, exposing them to the residents. Is the hiss capable of customizing a corrupted host's altered ability to this degree? Why is the physiology of the Hiss charge so dramatically different from the host's original form? Lots of questions, no answers. Rate of fire boost. Rate of fire plus 13%. That sounds pretty good. I think I'm happy with what I've got, at least for the shatter. What about the grip? Reload speed plus 10%. Hmm. Let's go with the rate of fire. <laughs> 